Dear students, welcome back to your education channel Learn and Educate, under which we were studying a few definitions under section 2. Now we will be studying section 2, clause 29a Long term capital assets. Long term capital assets means a capital assets which is not a short term capital assets. Long term capital assets it means an asset which is not a short term capital assets. When a person who buys a security, buys a shares, buy debenture or any other securities issued by a company, issued by local authority, issued by corporations, issued by a company established under the Companies Act or any other gold bullion assets which has been defined under various acts or which are used in the common parlance in the common nature of trade as an assets when a person buys such an assets to hold it for a longer period for example for a period of 12 months or 13 36 months which means that a person who is intended to hold the assets for a longer duration of time and that assets which are which are in the nature of capital nature which is not in the ordinary course of business which means a person who does not trade in that community in that particular assets and he occasionally does not buy or sell but he has been purchasing the assets for holding it for a longer period of time thus long term capital assets means an asset a capital asset which is not a short term capital assets a short term capital assets means where a person ordinarily does not hold it for a longer period of time whether it is a shares debentures or an assets gold land properties building etc and the income deriving from it is not his regular course of business it is once done which has been defined as long term capital assets section 2 clause 29b long term capital gains long term capital gains means a gains arising from the transfer of the long term capital assets thus the gains which has been arise to the person to the person from transferring the long term capital assets the long term capital asset means an asset which is not a short term capital assets and when that long term capital asset has been transferred and the gain arising to the person from the transfer of the long term capital asset has been defined under section 2 clause 29b long term capital gain means the gain arising from the transfer of a long term capital assets thank you